Hello and welcome everyone. I'm doing Christmas in July using the Anna Griffin Finishing School Holiday Open House Craft Box. It has the dies in there. I made a cute little card. I used a card base and cut it out so it'll be a shaped card, gold foil in the background, the house die with an ivory cardstock so it's nice and plain and simple using the accents and a black, just a simple black. And we're gonna go ahead and put this together. So here's the pieces that I just cut out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we're gonna make our shaped card. This card was so fun to make. Thinking about Christmas for me right now was a little bit early, but I got into the mood and here it is. I'm going to be using my Xyron Create a Station to create the sticky for all of these pieces um, because some of them are so tiny and intricate and I did not want to fuss with glue on every single one. So if you have a Xyron Create a Station, I highly recommend using it. You can get these on Anna Griffin's website. She has the nine inch with that accepts nine inches and five inches. This one is the three inches and five inch one. I got this on HSN, but I don't see it sold there anymore. You can also use a dotty tape pen for those really intricate ones. I am must be super heavy handed because every time I try to use a tape pen, it falls apart on me. The it just is not good. So I, <laughs> I use glue a lot of the times, but for this, I'm going to use the Xyron Creative Station. This last Anna Griffin craft day was really awesome. I ordered so many things. Um, I believe my garland cutting and emboss folders have already arrived so look for a video on that very soon everything else was kind of on extended delivery so i'm still waiting for that i have seen that some people have already got theirs but i live kind of further away so everything takes a little bit longer to get to me but i can't wait to get it i know that the sleigh and the um, carriage are still on extended delivery and haven't even shipped yet but oh my goodness when they come in it is going to be so amazing so I tried to use the call owl all-purpose glue from crafters companion for the background because of the open holes in the windows and the doors but and then I got out a sponge to try to like smooth it out but it was not a good idea so don't try to do this it did stick but I just don't think that it was the best option for this. I probably just would have used regular glue or maybe even use the Xyron again and then use the little plastic thing to, you know, get out all of the sticky in the open holes. So here's our completed base and this is where I'm going to use the Xyron for the roof and the windows and I'll peel off the top plastic sheet, I'll ball it up and then I'll start to dab it on the top of the sheet before I take it off to remove some of the sticky that would come through in the windows and the doors. I can't always get it all out, which is what I was saying before, and that's why sometimes this Dyron really frustrates me. But it does a good job sticking stuff down, so I can't fault it on that end. I then take a bone folder and start to really just rub it down in the holes and over the top to also release some of the adhesive from the inner parts of the dies. This house is gonna start looking a little, it looks a little haunted house to me, like I'm making a haunted house. <laughs> but just bear with me, stick with me. It's gonna come together, I promise. It's not gonna look like a haunted house. So 
So right here I'm putting on what is a, I think a balcony and the door frame over the top of the door. The door does open. That's the on the white base. It does open, so you can open and close it, um, but I'm not going to be using it. So if you choose to, you can score that and open it, and then you can use it that way. If you guys are loving what you see and you don't have this kit, it is available on anagriffin.com and it is $60 if you would like to go purchase it. You can make all of your holiday cards with this. You can put this on a card base um, and make it just a five by seven card. You can make it a shape card like this one. You can make it an easel card if you like. It's so versatile and has so many options. These um, little pieces that I'm putting as accents on the windows, you cut them out out of the main window piece, but you just uh, cut out the shape and then just put them over the top to create the accents. That is a little fiddly. <laughs> um, I'm normally not that fiddly. I do not like little tiny pieces, but I had to go for it with this house because you have to make it pretty. And so if you like doll houses or little fiddly, tiny pieces you will love this kit it is really nice it makes amazing cards like I said it's super versatile and all your holiday cards can be this open house and there, it comes with so many different things that um, you can customize this you can use your own papers or you can use the ones that come in the kit the decorations come in there these trees come in there the garland comes in there these super cute wreaths come in there which i will be cutting out those red bows to also apply other places look at santa's sleigh he comes and he lands on the top of our house it's so cute so just know that um this kit is available if you would like it like i said go on ahead and pick it up if you like on anagriffin.com I trimmed down one of the garlands to a very small piece to uh, put on the window ledge. I am going to be using glue on these just because the Xyron wasn't really an effective tool in my opinion. And this um, candlestick is a die, it is so tidy, um, that comes in the kit. And I placed that behind the garland and then I'm going to apply that onto the window ledge. These little tiny bows were fussy cut from off of the wreaths and then after I take the wreath and I'm going to apply glue to the back of it and then I'm going to put it behind the candlestick. So I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to use it and it was hard to see the candlestick seeing as that the background of the window was also gold. So I just um, applied that to the background so that it would pop the candle out of the window a little bit better.
After I cut up the garland, I didn't want any of those pieces to go to waste. So I just started putting them everywhere. So, and then I cut out some more bows to put on the side because these bows really add this amazing really pretty colorful detail um, to the garland and also to the front of the card so um don't don't be afraid to fussy cut your pieces and put them everywhere you'll get a beautiful result Here I go with more of the garland. Maybe you can never have too much. I live in an apartment, so I never actually get to decorate a house for Christmas, which after doing this, I think would be so fun and amazing. And you know, I even as a kid drove by those houses with lights all over them. And you know, you would just ooh and ah and watch all of that. Some of that's kind of gone by the wayside now. A lot of people seem to be shying away from celebration of Christmas and um, but I still love it and I think it's amazing and you know just being able to decorate this house just makes me think of you know if I had a house and I was able to decorate it you know how much fun I could have and you know what it would look like in the end so here is our finished card I think it's absolutely beautiful it was really easy to make and now we're going to um, decorate the inside of the card. I didn't want to leave the inside of the card blank, so I grabbed a Christmas insert from Anna Griffin and I'm folding it um, so that the sentiment is visible so that I can line up my die on there. I am going to be cutting it on the edge so that um, I just like I did with the a card base so that I can get the shape of the house um, to put on the inside so you just take the you just don't um, cut on the cutting edge so you put the cutting edge on the outside of the card or the insert and the rest of it will cut on the inside so just line it up to where one of the cutting edges is not going to cut and then when you're finished it you, you'll have a insert for the inside of your card now it's not perfectly centered the um sentiment but i was okay with that if you're not you know you can just maybe cut it out all the way and then you'll only just have one side and then you just glue the whole thing down but i was okay with it being a little off center because when i uh, opened it i couldn't hardly tell and so you're just gonna align the edges together and then make sure that everything is centered on your card. And then I'm gonna take some glue and just on the edge of the insert, place a little strip of glue. Close the top over, the, over it and seal it down. And when you open it up, you will have your insert. It looks great. But I wasn't finished there. I wanted to add the wreath as a little accent on the inside. So I just glued that down and that was my finishing touch. You can do all kinds of things with the insides of cards. And so you could put the trees on the bottom. You could do all kinds of things. Um, and the sky's the limit. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful crafty day, and I will see you guys later.